Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Race 4 will jump at 14.15. It's over 1,600 metres. www.tabgold.co.za. Pinnacle Stakes. Get the best value when you bet with Tab Gold. Before we give you our selections with the race number 4, we've got interviews lined up for you with trainer Alison Wright and jockey Sipasi Schlesh Lengua. Atawan is, um, as you see, coming off a long break. Um, he is going to need a couple more runs to get... Um, to the right condition. He's a horse that carries a lot of weight, so it hasn't been easy and um, just hoping for a better run. He's been working well. Uh, just hoping to settle her and hoping that uh, he'll run a very good race also. Well, let's look at the uh, betting first. Former Gear is currently trading at around about 25 to 10. Mucho De Niro at around about 28 to 10 in the market. And number one, the Grey King at 2 to 1. Just remember the show is recorded early, so that betting is subject to change. First selection for me, I'm going to go with number 5, former gear from the Peter Musket Yard with Samanga Bling Kumalo aboard. Now, he's partnered this horse on a number of occasions and he's done well with the son of Karari. And I'm going to be taking a chance here and going narrowly with number five, former gear. I think the form is good and that last run was eye-catching when drawn 10 out of 11, was eating up the ground on that occasion to finish fourth 2.5 lengths behind Imelenzi Yorke Duduma. So that is my first selection, Dees. Big respect for number six, Mucho De Niro, who hasn't raced for 106 days, as well as number one, the Grey King, who hasn't raced for 85 days. Nevertheless, comes from a powerful stable, so I wouldn't discount their chances. I think your thinking with number four, former gear, could be spot on because the horse enjoys racing fresh. You see that column rest plus one, four starts, two wins. But I think the form line of that last start in that Fever 3 was a cracking good form line to follow. Narina Tragon has come out to win twice, I think, uh, winning the King's Cup and the Sledgehammer. Royal Victory was in that race. I mean, how proud did Nathan Cotson do KZN when he won the Premier's Champions Challenge with Royal Victory? He looks like a horse that uh, is a serious contender in this year's Hollywood Bets Durban July. And do you know when they priced up what they priced him up as? Royal Victory. What, what was the odds? 50 to 1. Unbelievable. 50 to 1. Now he's shortened dramatically in the betting. But from that form line, Champompo, Champizi, Golden Peace have all come out to win. So I think Devon could be on the right horse here off the locals. That could be the pick. But Justin Snade's got uh, Mucha De Niro, you alluded to. I mean, this horse, as a four year old, he's unbeaten. Yeah. Four um, from four. Form has been absolutely outstanding. And the way he's been winning, Devon, he won the Willavington, I think he, his last start, uh, he won the Premier Trophy. He's winning in good style. And uh, Grant van Niekerk, we know that he is the man for the job with the snake race. He's just come down for the one horse. Yeah, he's just come down for the one horse. And uh, I am expecting a massive performance from him. Just one or two question marks about that 106-day layoff. The stable companion, uh, the Great King, you know, he's got a very low weight, 52, and uh, he's at draw one. I mean, he's a horse that's talented on his day. When you look at that last start, you know, considering <coughs> that Green with Envy, I know he was receiving weight, but Green with Envy is the Hollywood Bets Durban July favourite. Yeah, no, this horse uh, ran an absolute cracker. I had a good look at that rerun, and I did fancy him uh, on that day and his run prior to that when he won beating Augusta Blue. So I am going to be keeping a very close eye on this individual, the Great King. I was just chatting to you off about Pit Porter's run, and nice to have Pit Porter in town. Yeah, you know? it's, it's, it's wonderful to see more Cape trainers here in uh, KwaZulu-Natal, and uh, I know that they rate this horse highly as well. That is Strong number eight front eight. runner, Devon. Yeah. If this horse can get a soft lead, and remember, Jabu Jacobs has won twice on him. Yes. He knows the horse. It's not like that he's going in, uh, you know, or with a blindfold. No, 100%. If he can overcome the draw and get the lead that, you know, sees him just dictate <coughs> matters up front with his own fractions, this horse on his day doesn't throw in the towel. He can run all the way to the line. 
Yeah, I've followed him on a number of, occasion, of occasions and I was on him a few times when he won. And he's a type of horse that can do work yes. and still quicken. So I like the fact that this race is over 1,600 meters. Although if you look at, 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 at his recent form, <clears throat> he has been racing over slightly further. Yes. But the fact of the matter is he can do work. So for me, I wouldn't be surprised to see him win from draw eight, meaning that he might loop a lot of runners. He might use a bit of energy to get to the front. But you know that that kick is still going to be there. I'm happy that Justin Snaith's um, annual selection will be good enough for bets like the Bar Pot and the PA, but for the pick six, would you consider a horse like Barathean? Yeah, I'll have to throw him in as backup. I'll throw in numbers five, one, six and eight. Well, I'm in full agreement with Devon Governor with those numbers. I think those look to be the principles and we're hoping that four runners will be good enough to get us through jackpot one, which begins in race number four. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town and also I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town.